What's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites, where some would say it's the best place online to get your shark fix. We've got a viral videos compilation for you today and boy have I got some goodies for you. I've been sitting on some of these videos for a few months now, so let's not waste any time and check them out. Up first, we're off to New Zealand where a stingray found itself in a spot of bother. The video shows a pod of killer whales who have managed to corral what I believe to be a short tail stingray right up against the rocks in Marsden Cove, New Zealand. You can see in this section of the clip here, the stingray full on arching that tail with the venomous barb on the end of it to try and ward off the killer whales before it eventually manages to slip off into the deep. This is a pretty normal predator prey relationship in New Zealand and there's loads of clips online of killer whales hunting stingrays. Generally, they'll try and flip those stingrays upside down and get them into tonic immobility, which is almost like a trance-like state for sharks and rays. I think one of the most famous clips of killer whales hunting stingrays though is this one that was filmed a few years ago. I think we can all conclude killer whales are dickheads. <laughs> Up next, we head over to Brighton in the UK for a shark clip that caused a real stir across the socials all the way back in May. The video uploaded to Instagram by at I'm just Brighton appears to show a reasonably sized shark swimming in little circles, literally a few feet off the stony beaches in Brighton. What are we thinking guys, fake or real? <laughs> of course, you guessed it, this is well and truly fake. At the time, a lot of people were trying to say that this was a basking shark and that we get basking sharks in the UK all the time, so it had to be real. Well, we know this is definitely not a basking shark because the fins are all wrong and we don't really get basking sharks in the English channel that often. But I think the biggest giveaway here that this is definitely fake is the fact there's just no ripple at all from the shark swimming through the water. <laughs> Alas, it was eventually revealed to be a massive hoax by a guy called Ty who claimed he fooled the internet with a project he started all the way back in 2018. How did it take you three years to make that video. It was rubbish. <laughs> anyway, over to Hawaii now where a little girl had a very close encounter with a shark in the surf. The clip that went completely viral back in May was uploaded by her mother and shows her daughter playing in the surf off Oahu in Hawaii. While splashing in the surf, she turns around and spots what I believe to be a black tip shark having a good old thrash about in the surf as well. Thankfully, she was completely unharmed, but you can literally pinpoint the exact moment this girl realized I'm in trouble here. <laughs> Black tips do often end up in the shallows, usually hunting for shoaling fish species that are refuging in these shallower waters. So the little girl was definitely not the target for this shark. Saying that though, this species does actually have one of the highest bite rates on humans across the world, usually because they get a little bit confused in those turbid waters where the surf break is. So it actually turned out to be a pretty lucky encounter in the end. Off to the Red Sea now, where some of the craziest shark footage I have ever ever seen was captured last month. The video, which is awful quality by the way, shows a couple parasailing in Aquaba Jordan. The parasail dips pretty close down to the water before an unknown shark species leaps from the water and bites the man's foot. Now, I've got to hold my hands up here. I did a video back a few weeks ago with the Daily Jaws where we were looking at some of the craziest shark attack clips from movies. Anyway, there's a film called Shark Lake where a parasailer gets their foot and leg bitten off by a shark. Here's what I had to say about it. I mean, the ridiculousness of it is is outrageous. <laughs> like the speed at which that that parasail is moving, it's just not worth it for the shark. It's just too much energy expenditure for a bit of food that's not actually going to suffice them that much. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Alas, one week after filming that video with the Daily Jaws, this actually happened in real life. I got that completely wrong. <laughs> I actually can't believe it. Have I managed to jinx that guy? I feel like anyone who's ever been parasailing, this is like a massive fear of theirs. I just can't believe it's happened. Thankfully, the guy didn't lose his foot, but it did manage to sever some tendons and cause a little bit of damage. So we can only wish him well. And sorry for jinxing you. On to some more lighthearted viral videos, and this next clip is definitely high on cuteness levels. The video uploaded by Kimberly Gordon in Florida shows a baby hammerhead scooting around in the shallow waters just off the beach. Now, I'm not 100% sure what species of hammerhead this is. It's really difficult to tell without getting a good look at that head. It could potentially be a baby bonnet head, but then again, it could also be a baby great hammerhead. If it is the latter, this tiny shark could eventually grow to nearly 20 feet in length. Hammerheads tend to give birth in relatively coastal, shallow waters around the world to give their young the best chance of surviving to adulthood. 
Swim strong, little hammerhead. Next up over to Taiwan, where some good-hearted fishers managed to save an awesome and very rarely seen shark species. The clip uploaded to Facebook by Jonathan Tree shows the Taiwanese fishers freeing a megamouth shark from some nets that it had become entangled in. The megamouth shark in the clip was estimated to be about four meters in length and was reported to swim off from the encounter relatively unharmed. Megamouths are an incredibly rare shark species with very few reported accounts in the wild. It's also a case of effective policy being implemented to save sharks, as Taiwan last year banned the capture of great whites, basking sharks, and megamouths in their waters. So it is really great to see this shark being saved when perhaps a couple of years ago, it could have been a very different story. Next up, we've got this awesome video of a very chunky shark. The video uploaded by Keith Poe, who I think is based in California, appears to show a very large shark slowly cruising through the waters a few miles off the coast. A lot of people were initially saying this was a great white shark due to its size, but I can tell you it's actually a massive mako shark. According to Keith, he believed the shark was a female, so there's a chance she could be heavily pregnant. Then again, it's really difficult to tell without shark ultrasound whether a shark is actually pregnant or it's just scoffed a load of food and is just really full. Regardless, it's great to see a mako shark that is that kind of size. Thought to be the fastest shark in the sea? That one, I'm not so sure. <laughs> Over to Australia now, where a photographer has captured a picture that has sparked some real debate online. The photo taken by photographer Hayden Richards shows a surfer heading through the break off a beach in southern Australia. And on the right-hand side, unknown to the surfer, we can see a dorsal fin of an unknown marine creature. First off, I think this is an awesome picture, and it's definitely not photoshopped because Hayden has tons of images like this on his Instagram. The real question is, is this a shark dorsal fin or the dorsal fin of a dolphin? Now, based on some digging I've done, Hayden has a bunch of photos quite similar to the previous ones splashed all across his Instagram, like this one. In this picture, you can clearly see those dorsal fins are that of dolphins, which makes me think the previous picture could also be a dolphin. Dolphin dorsals and shark dorsals tend to be quite distinct with a dolphin dorsal fin being much more crescent shaped and a shark dorsal fin being more triangular shaped with a straight back edge. Admittedly, it's hard to tell from the original photo because of the angle that the picture was taken at, but I'm gonna hedge my bets and say that's a dolphin. I'm keen to hear what you all think at home this is, so do let me know in the comments whether you think it's a shark or a dolphin. And finally, we're off to South Africa for another awesome bruv clip. The video uploaded by the Shark Life Conservation Group shows a bruv, which stands for Baited Remote Underwater Video, recording some footage on a reef. In the video, we can see a honeycomb moray eel having a good old chomp on that bait cage before a white spotted wedge fish tries to get in on the action. <laughs> Without hesitation, that moray has decided to take a bite out of that wedge fish's face. Ouch. I love how after the bite, the moray realizes it's just bitten an apex predator and just retreats into the safety of the reef. This is definitely a really rare interaction to capture on film, and it's one of the reasons why I love bruvs so much. Wedgefish, which are technically rays, are some of the rarest and most threatened elasmobranch species out there, so to capture this on film is really cool to see. So, there we have it guys, that's your roundup of viral videos from the last few months. Let me know in the comments which one was your favourite, and if you have seen any other crazy viral shark or ray video clips from the last few weeks or so, send them across to me and I'll be sure to include them in the next viral videos binge. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Lights channel below where you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Until then, see you next time.